All right, so what we did to Carrie's hair is we pre-prepped it with one inch curling iron and just simply wrapped it around the barrel to add a nice curl to it. This is all of her hair. She doesn't have any extensions in there. So we're gonna add some volume uh, dry shampoo by uh, Kenra here. Really aggressively spray to create more of that clouded kind of texture. So usually I start from the nape up, but in this case with our clouded ponytail, we're gonna start from the top down. So we're gonna go ahead and visually place the hair extensions. I'm gonna take diagonals back and we're gonna work with the front sections first, going from the front of the hairline down to the nape of the neck. So starting on that right side, we're gonna slightly angle our first hair weft. So we're gonna take a diagonal forward section and that's where our first hair weft is gonna go. Taking a large section of hair, aggressively teasing at the root area. Taking a pre-curled hair weft, opening up the clip and popping it in there. And then we're just bending the clip back to really attach it into place. And then covering that up with some hair. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So taking a diagonal forward section, teasing that section behind it, and that's where we're gonna attach our hair weft. Clipping it into place, laying that hair over it. We're gonna do one more in the crown area here. Now it's important that you really get in there and create a good foundation, tease it at the root area, and then take your hair weft and clip it into place. You can see how that pops through and it looks gorgeous. So now we're gonna go ahead and visually take a nice chunk of hair, kind of utilizing that triangle section, that diagonal forward section we took with our hair weft. We're gonna kind of just lightly brush it out with our fingers. We're not gonna really use any combs. We want that clouded kind of effect to it. So now we're just gonna go ahead and slightly twist it away from the face. Then we're gonna simply pinch and pull it forward to create kind of that curl to it. And bobby pin it on the opposite side. So that's what's creating our clouded kind of look to it, are these nice full twists. We're gonna do the same thing with the opposite side, taking that triangle section, twisting away from the face, pinch and pulling it for that volume, for that texture. And pinning it into place on the opposite side. Now moving forward, we're gonna go ahead and take another diagonal forward section, and we're gonna go ahead and insert a hair extension right through in there. So I'm kind of thinking a little bit below the top of the ear. This is where our hair weft's gonna go. Releasing that section to fall over, and we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So we're doing the same thing on the opposite side, so aggressively teasing that, and then adding our hair weft in there for a pop of color, releasing our clip. So now we're gonna take that panel and we're gonna do the same thing. So you can see that color in there really shining through. We're gonna go ahead and twist it away from the face, and then pinch and pull it out really allowing that 
pink color to show through the hair. And then bobby pinning it into place on the opposite side. So now we're gonna continue. We're gonna go ahead and add some more hair wefts as we work down the head. So now we're below the ear. So I'm just gonna take a small piece of hair here, section. And this is definitely visual. I'm gonna go ahead and split that section and then add a hair weft. And this is a little bit below the crown and I'm taking them at a slight diagonal going away from the face. That way that it kind of blends and flows with our whole entire hairstyle. So we have our section here gonna tease it and then add our hair weft. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the last three hair wefts that we have out of the Barely Blushing Braid Box. We're gonna go ahead and take a small section of hair close to the scalp here, and we're just gonna layer them on top of each other and then create a nice rope braiding effect. We're gonna release our clip now, and you can see all the beautiful tones through in there. Now we're simply gonna do a rope braiding technique. We're gonna lightly divide the hair in half. We're gonna twist one section to the right, cross it over to the left, repeat that on the right side, twist the right up and over to the left. We're just gonna do a couple times. We wanna go about midway down because we're gonna pull this up and create that clouded ponytail effect I was talking about. So we're gonna go ahead and attach our hair elastic down here. Turn her a little bit. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is we wanna distress this rope braid. I'm gonna hold on to the baby ends of her hair, adding a little bit of volume dry shampoo for some bulk. And we're just gonna really pull it up, pinch and pull it up, allowing that hair elastic to move up. So it actually doesn't look like a rope braid. We're just stretching out those sections, creating our clouded effect. So now I'm just gonna visually go through and kind of pull and stretch any pieces that I need to to make sure that there's a nice balance to the hair. It looks full in all areas. Maybe pull out a few strands around the face, pull it up at the crown, and just do any detailing out that I see. So there you guys have it, a clouded ponytail utilizing the braid box by Society Extensions. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys soon.